Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple. Good, Ravens fam. So hopefully you all enjoyed the game as I did as well. Um, let's just let's just get right into it. So um, first half, yeah. Um. What's this right here? Yeah, because the offense needed a lot of this right here. They 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 needed some WD forty to knock that rust off. They they probably need a bigger can than this, but they needed to knock that rust off because it was trash. It was uh Greg Roman, your so called vault. Did did it need some WD forty to open it up or something? Because it must have a lot of rust on it. Um, that was trash, like straight up trash. It was a short pass. It is like the, they kept the run game was just not there. It was not there. It was sad. <laughs> um, I know it was raining and everything, but that didn't stop Flacco from slinging that thing. Even though they took the L, but that didn't stop him. You know, um, could it be the routes or whatever? I, I don't, I don't know. But let's let's get into the stats. So the stats we're looking at Lamar Jackson, 17 complete, 30 attempts, 213 yards, 7.1 average. Three TDs, one interception, and two sacks. Okay, um, that one interception, that took that was all on Lamar. He floated that thing. Like, I think he threw it. I went. Got me something to drink, came back. Then it was intercepted by Reed. It was just up there that long. But it was during, you know, crunch time. Game was really over. Um, I know some people in my chat was, uh, <laughs> I, I believe it was Gerald and Nana Ray with the fantasy points. He lost some people some fantasy points with that interception. But, uh, after that, that second, that second half, he uh, he did good though. He started throwing it down the field. Um, quick little, quick little passes, but to me, our wide receiver core, they it just had to go down the field like that. That bomb to Bateman was beautiful. I'm gonna get more into that in a minute when I get to the receiving. But um, yeah, it was. It was nice. It was nice. It was nice. Rushing. Trash. As I said, trash. Like, where, where my trash can at? Because that's where the rushing was at. It was in the trash. They didn't even deserve, deserve a recycling bin. It was that bad. Kenyon Drake, 11 carries, 31 yards. I'm good, fam. I'm good. 2.8 yards at average. I'm good. Lamar Jackson, 6 carries, 17 yards. I ain't tripping off of Lamar with any types of rushing, as long as it's not negative, because he shouldn't be rushing. People should be getting open, or the running back should be doing their thing. I know that's Kenyon Drake's first game, but I don't care. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Mike Davis, you played all preseason. You should have played better than Kenyon Drake, and you sat there, coughed up, fumble. That mother popped up like popcorn. Two carries, 11 yards. And it seemed like when he did that one cut, he was like, oh, I'm really feeling it. Bloop. Ball went straight up in the air. Really. Justice Hill, two carries, four yards. I would have gave Justice Hill more chance. I would have gave him more chance. I would have gave him them Kenyon Drake plays. Or them Mike Davis plays. Because he seemed like he, to me, he had a little bit more juice the little time he had a chance. Because at the beginning, the offensive line was not it. It wasn't playing good because they needed some WD-40. But they haven't had a chance to sit there and completely jail. Now, from what I saw, Linden Ball, no center problems. No center problems for his NFL game. No center problems. Rashad Bateman. Now, he, he dropped one, caught one, got it hit. The ball knocked out, but it wasn't a fumble. It was raining hard, so I'm like 50-50, okay? 
Um, cause it looked like he tucked it, but when that dude came flying in, he was aiming at the arms and the football, and the ball just looked like he just slipped out. So I'm like, okay, it wasn't a fumble, fine. But then that 55 yard. He cut and saw it was on sauce too. It was on sauce. So I was gonna try to blame it on somebody else. Uh-uh, uh-uh. He put that sauce on you, baby. He put that Louisiana hot sauce on you. He put it on him because he cut in. Then he hit that mud like that. I said, oh. Then Lamar just dimed it too. And in a way, he strolled in on the touchdown, just walked in like, yeah, I did him in. I did him in. I put that soft sauce on him. Dev. The next person is Dev. Let me do it two more times. Dev. Dev. Because that's how many TDs he got. He got two. He was cooking. That man was cooking. He was killing him. Okay, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Because he was killing them. All right, all right, all right. But I ain't no damn head there like that, though. That catch, that first touchdown, that move was nice. That move was nice. I think I forgot to even turn my mic on on the reaction. Y'all see, I was screaming so loud and hype. I don't think I, I, I left my mic on you. <laughs> that move was pretty. But uh, Demarcus Robinson, two reception, 19 yards. That's actually not bad, really. 9.5 average. That's really not bad. First game, Mandrews, five uh, receptions, 52 yards, 10.4. Not bad. And we know Rashad got that 29.5 because of that bone. But I, I think it's going to get better. I think it's going to get better. Um. Let's see, uh, Ken, that was the only really good play Kenyon Drake did, that one reception, 15 yards. He looked real nice on that. Uh, Pat Ricard, one reception, 70. Pat Ricard, is he going to either get one or two thrown to him each game? And it's going to be on a screen, I feel, because at, at the beginning of the game, he was missing. He was missing blocks, misreading blocks, going to the wrong person to block the wrong person, letting somebody else free. He was messing up a lot. Um, Tylen Wallace, Justice Hill. I I can't really remember. I know he had that one play on the passing, but uh, I don't remember the second one. Tylen Wallace. He had one target to him. He could have caught it, but he started running. He literally started running, kind of pushed the guy off, and dove backwards. And I'm, Lamar was like, "Bro, keep keep running. Like, what are you?" I'm throwing it into a, a section only where you can get it over the shoulder. And they said they worked a lot over the shoulder. I know him and Bateman said they worked a lot on it too. Um, boy, James Prochet was, I didn't see him out there. I know they got him for a bogus holding call, but, uh, yeah, Isaiah likely I'm just, they should, they, he got four targets, but on his stat lines, I would just put jitters. Jitters on his stat line because he um he had the jitters. He literally just had the jitters. Um first game, I guess the nervousness got him a little bit. Hopefully knocks the rust off. Um knock that jitters off and let's get it going. Marlon Humphrey, fumble recovery, Chuck Clark. We finna get into that defense, baby. We finna get into that defense. But Chuck Clark made that fumble. Mike Davis, as I said, popcorn. Um, I don't think I seen him after that. I don't know. Marcus Williams. <laughs> That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Just look. Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams. Yeah, he, uh, yeah. He nice. He nice. He nice. Interception first Ravens game. Leading the team in tackles. Man. Uh, he could have had two. He dropped one, though. He could have had two interceptions. 
But uh, Chuck Clark, balling. I don't know what Mike is doing for as that package of Chuck, Marcus Williams, and Cal, all of them on the field at the same time, but it was looking nice. I don't know what it is, but it was looking nice, and it looks right. P.Q. Let, let me put it back on the stats for y'all. For y'all. P.Q. Look nice that first game. Eight tackles with a with a zero point five sack. I like it. I like it. It seems like the defense is loving this, uh, loving this play call. They loving it. They loving it. I feel I feel like they don't want to wink no more. <laughs> little dad joke in there. I had to put the little dad joke in there. They don't want to wink no more. <laughs> Woo! All right. Okay, uh, Malik Harrison. I wasn't expecting him to see him out there, but he did pretty good. Uh, man, then they see they they know ESPN stats know the order they got the next three people in right here. Can you, let me see. Can you see my mouse? Okay, what Justin Matabuki, Claire's Campbell, Justin Fuller, all three of them bald. All of them got sacks. That point five, nah, he got a sack. Calais Campbell had that man Mitchell apologizing to him after he got that sack in the first quarter. Cause they showed the camera. All I saw was Mitchell saying something to Calais Campbell. I'm sorry, Mr. Campbell. I'm really sorry that I said that, that you are an average person, Mr. Campbell. I want to apologize. I love your suit. I love your suit, sir. I want to apologize after he got manhandled. I just want to say that I I'm sorry. But he did his thing. He did his thing. Justin Matabuki, five five tackles, two solo. But he did his boy, that interior defensive line we have. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Could be scary. Like Harp said one time, could be the best. Defensive line in the league. Because I don't. Last year, Justin Houston, I don't think he was feeling that defense. Because how he played with Mike in his first game, Justin was dude. All I saw was Flacco running for his life because Justin Houston was beasting. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do over here. I don't know. Team Ramy mentioned him. I don't know. He might have been getting doubled or something. I don't know. All I know is the interior line was getting there so fast. I don't even think Matty Bookie had a chance. I know they said he did one pressure. I saw one pressure, but yeah, yeah, special. Um, other than that, everybody was pretty much, you know. Cal Hamilton, he, he for first game, he got a little three set, uh, three tackles solo. They all were solo. Um, but yeah, it was sweet. It was sweet. I, I, I loved that game. I loved it. I loved that defense. They was aggressive. May, may had a little, little, just little flashbacks. But, and, the, and you think about it, this is all without MP Juice, man. So we MP Juice Man come back. We're gonna see what happened with Cal Fuller, because he was playing the second. But we MP Juice Man coming back. Then Pepe might take, you know, MP uh Cal, Cal Fuller's spot. It's gonna be beautiful. Looking nice. Looking nice. So we gonna see. Looking nice. I'm loving it. Like McDonald's. Loving it. All right, so y'all tell me what y'all thought about the game. Um, overall, next week, they shouldn't need no WD-40 offense. Defense, keep consistency. Offense, I want to come on now. Because that, that I didn't say I forgot to say. I'm just now remembering. Lamar Jackson at the beginning, he was looking very not happy with the play calls or whatever it was. He was not smiling. He wasn't doing any of that. 
He was looking frustrated like he wasn't agreeing with what was being called. Then, next thing you know, they start throwing that thing down the field. Because the run wasn't working, so why you keep going to it? I know y'all want to become one-dimensional, but if the pass is working, you keep going past until they stop you, then you go run. But that's just my thoughts. But uh, tell me what y'all think about the game. Next week, Dolphins, revenge. You know, they blissed us like crazy last year. We was all banged up, so we're going to see. Will JK be back? Will MP Juice Man be back? We're going to see because Dolphins gave us a lock into the Patriots 20 to 7. So we're going to see. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. Everybody stay safe. Hit the notify. Be on the lookout for the reactions video. Stay safe. You already know. God bless.